Hey, what's going on? If you want to get a complete system that makes melting fat easy and is 100% automated, then I want you to go to the link that's on the bottom of your page right now. Um, YouTube doesn't let me make that link clickable, so you're gonna actually gonna have to type it into your browser. Or I also put a uh, copy of the link in the description, so you can click on that or type it into your browser. All right. For now, enjoy the video, and after you're done with this video, make sure to go to that link to get a complete fat melting system. Now we're gonna get into uh, personally my favorite choke. Uh, I finished three of my uh, professional fights with this choke, and it's one of my most effective chokes. I already have a, a DVD series out on this choke, and uh, let's break it down. So it's a rear naked choke. It seems very simple, but there's a lot of little things that can go into this choke. We're gonna start pretty basic right now. I'm gonna show you some advanced little techniques, uh, and then later on we'll get more and more into uh, advanced techniques so you can learn how to finish this from anywhere. But uh, first let's go into techniques. So Angel's gonna demonstrate on me. She's gonna. Get behind me, we're just gonna start with our basic rear naked choke. So the rear naked choke, let's break it, let's demonstrate it first. You grab her bicep here, chin over, your head, put your chin right here. Good. Just put your chin right here, good. And then she squeezes, squeeze, tap. All right, so the rear naked choke, you demonstrate on, on any one of your, your friends, but how we do it is one arm's gonna come around the neck. You want it to be as deep as possible. So you want this elbow, pretty much you want the elbow to be right under the chin, okay? From there, you're gonna come all the way around. Now your other arm's gonna come and you're gonna grab that arm's bicep. See how she grabs her bicep? Right like so, okay? You can grab as deep as possible as she had. Grab your bicep. The other arm, now you're gonna make a muscle. You're gonna put it behind my head, right under the crown of my head where my head loops so it's like real hard to get out. Now, this is where a lot of people mess up is they, they try to finish from here and then I still can come here and reach around and pull this hand off and now I can stop the choke. So what she's gonna do, and the big, big detail, is that to stop me from being able to pull this arm out, she's gonna use her chin and tuck it over so it's like a latch. She just latched it over. So now, see, she latches it right there. She latches her thing. So now if I try to reach, I can't do it, she latched. And from here, she's gonna squeeze everything, make a muscle, squeeze and pull in, keep on squeezing. Keep... <coughs> my face is extra red right now. It's very easy to make somebody pass out from this. What you're doing is that you're shutting off the carotid arteries, giving blood to the head. After you stop the blood from going to the head, you got about three, four seconds, the person's out cold. So you got one here, one here. All you gotta do is stop one. The cry artery is only about three millimeters wide. So uh, it's very easy to stop, very simple. Uh, it's not it's not air choke, it doesn't really hurt, just makes you feel like you're gonna pass out. So she's gonna demonstrate one more time. She's gonna come around, grab her bicep, make a muscle, put it behind my head, and then latch it. She latches it, squeeze. <coughs> very quick tap. Right? This is an extremely basic uh, choke, but extremely effective. You know, choke out anybody, doesn't matter how big their neck is. Um, I, can, I can put a six-year-old uh, kid to choke out a 30-year-old man, and they'll put the, put the old man out unconscious. It's all about stopping a three millimeter artery, so it's very, very, very easy. And there's a lot of different ways we can set up this choke. Right now, we're just doing it the most basic way, where it's coming behind somebody and choking them out. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to tie it into a drill right now so you can use it with some of the techniques we've already learned uh, so it works with our, with our whole system. So to get all our drilling out of the way and our strength training out of the way, we're going to do it with a ball. So we don't even need a partner to, to, uh, to do this technique. All you need is, is a simple round kind of ball. It can be a squishy ball or a hard ball. I like to use squishy, but uh, either one's fine. And this technique, by the way, is a, a really good self-defense technique as far as it doesn't really cause damage to your opponent, so the chances of suing are, uh, are slimmer. Uh, for example, if somebody is attacking one of your friends, uh, it's a lot easier to come up behind them and just grab them and choke them out real quick uh, than it is to try to punch them. You can break your hand and uh, you, know, you can cause more damage to them and, and you at the same time when you can just go up behind somebody and get the sure thing, which really could choke them out. And you know, five seconds they're asleep, you let go, set them down nicely, and you're good to go. Now, I don't recommend. Hey, what's going on? If you're enjoying the video so far, do me a huge favor and click on the like button below. Uh, you'll get your good deed for the day out of the way. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Also, go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment. Something as simple as good video or I enjoyed the video. Uh, it really helps me out with YouTube. All right, here's the rest of the video. Doing this at all, I'm just telling you this, this is a technique that you can use uh, to su subdue somebody. Uh, a couple years ago, I think two or three years ago, there was a girl in Miami that actually saved her little brother. Her little brother was getting attacked by a pit bull and she jumped on the pit bull's back and did a rear choke and saved her brother's life. So it's an extremely effective technique, uh, works really well. Now, as far as the ball, we're just gonna practice doing our rear naked choke in the ball. So Angela's gonna demonstrate. So she wraps one arm around the chin, grabs her bicep, goes around the back of the head and latches it. And then she's gonna put it, grab it and do the other one real quick. So go back and forth, good. So she, right now she's just building that myelin, so she's go around and latch. Good, this one comes behind the head, now latch. There you go, she wants to latch it, latch it. 
boom, and she latches it, okay? And she's gonna keep on doing this, keep on drilling, go back and forth, and she's just building it up, so now it's like, you don't have to think about it, she just gets this choke. Boom, awesome, good. Now, to build up the strength of this choke, now, uh, big, a lot of times you'll see somebody get this choke, and they'll squeeze really hard and they'll die, and we don't want that, we want, we want to be able to get this choke, and we're like an alligator, or a crocodile, once we latch down, it's the game out. So. For the strengthening part, right now I was just drilling, just getting the movement down. Once we get the movement down, we're gonna do 30 second intervals, okay? We're gonna do five times on each arm, all right? You can do three if you'd like, but I want three to five times minimum for each arm, 30 seconds each time. So the goal is she's gonna latch it up, lock it, okay? So now her goal is to start squeezing, and she's gonna keep on, keep on increasing the pressure. Instead of starting to decrease, throughout the 30 seconds, she's gonna increase, so increase stronger, 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 stronger. And you're gonna feel it in your biceps, you're gonna feel it in your back. You just squeeze your back here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Her whole back is tight right now. Squeeze. 10, 9, 30 seconds. Squeeze harder. 8, 7. She's getting red. Squeeze. 6, 5. Breathing. Breathing. 4, 3, 2, 1. And it's very important. And I made a good point right there by breathing. You wanna focus on breathing because if you hold your breath, you're not gonna be looking. Keep on increasing the pressure. You wanna breathe. Breathe. And keep on breathing as we're squeezing bicep, squeezing here, and squeezing our back. So it's a full upper body workout. You're getting your biceps work, you're getting your upper back, your rhomboids, uh, everything's getting worked out for, as far as your know, squeezing, squeezing muscles go. And this is going to help you not only on your rear naked choke, but on, on all your other chokes. It's going to increase your endurance for these chokes. So you got drill it, drill it. I want you to drill it minimum. 50 times, should go quick as you get more and more fluid with it, and then you're doing three to five sets on each arm, 30 second intervals, increasing the pressure as the 30 second goes, and uh, keep your breathing going as well, and it's gonna really strengthen your rear naked choke. Hey, real quick, one more thing before you go. I wanna make sure you know that there is no correlation between how hard you work and how much fat you melt, or how much muscle you build, all right? There's enough science, enough data out there that there's absolutely no correlation between hard work and results, all right? There's a difference between movement and achievement, all right? If you want to learn my best tips, what I call the 5% hacks that allow you to get maximum results, maximum fat loss, maximum lean muscle gain, I want you to go to the link that's on the bottom of this page or you can click on the link in the description. All right, you're going to get a complete system for melting fat in an intelligent and streamlined system. I'll see you there.